everyone, how's it going? Robert here, and welcome back. Now, you might notice the upgrade in webcam quality, and that's because for I don't know how it happened, but it works again. The other little, I guess like the poopy webcam that I have as my backup I've had for ages now, and the main one that I've been using, it's, it's a great camera. And yesterday, it didn't work for some reason, so I had to, and I like tried for an hour, and then I just kind of gave up, and that's why I used the other camera. But this one works. I turned on the computer today, and no idea what happened, but I decided to give it one last go. And it works, <laughs> which I'm happy. And I'm happy I didn't like invest in another webcam or anything like that. But I did buy a new cable. And I don't really use those, like the HDMI or micro HDMI. I don't really use those for anything else other than this. So kind of sad that I wasted the money. But obviously I wanted to record in a much higher quality. All right, but here we go. So welcome to Stargazing 64. And I don't know what this game is about other than Stargazing. And it is indeed a horror game. But... What, the, um, what stood out on this is that it's set in the Nintendo 64 style and it it looks really good. It looks really good. Again, I think like every video I talk about how uh, I like the PSX style and I have not seen many with this style. Supposedly this is a really short one, so we'll find out. When it's dark enough, you can see the stars. Marvel at them by holding the mouse button. Okay, it doesn't matter what mouse button, but we do have a telescope. I, I know it's not dark yet, but... Oh, no, it's actually, it's actually getting dark. Okay, I can't run or jump or anything, but that is fine. Oh, here we go. Now it's finally getting dark. I would love to have like my own telescope to be able to do uh, any type of stargazing. I know those are pretty expensive, and maybe maybe one day. I do know a guy, whoever, who does astrophotography, and that's actually pretty legit. I like that a lot. I I have even considered trying that out myself, but I don't know. He has all the right equipment. And I enjoy looking at his photos. And that's good enough for now. <laughs> but maybe one day again. So where am I supposed to look at these again? I guess let's just go here. And take a look at them stars. Nice. There we are. Was it <laughs> UI Scooty? Distance 9,500 light years, one of the largest known stars. Nice. Oh my gosh, I can't even say these names. <laughs> but this one's a lot closer. It's the second brightest in the constellation of Orion. At first, I thought those were the. I mean, those might be stars, like well, well off, but. Maybe those are clouds, I don't know. But this is actually uh, pretty calming. It's like Wizen. 1,600 light years. Anchor point by which other stars are classified. It's actually pretty neat. This is actually like half educational. <laughs> if they're real. The one from Orion I kind of believe is real. But I don't really know the names of these other ones. Antares. 550 light years, binary star that appears as a single star. No one knows. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. 809, well, less than that, light years. Are there any other stars to look at? Well, wow. this one's seemingly coming closer and closer. It's 
<laughs> See, like, can you imagine just like staying here? It's like a giant star coming down and we're just standing here. Well, hello. Why, what a nice eye you have. I guess I'll stand on the bridge while we, uh... <laughs> oh man, that... That ended quick. That, that ended real quick. Was that supposed to happen? Um... Yeah, but, but darn, that was, uh... That was pretty good. It's just, again, just like a very short horror game. I love the concept of the Nintendo 64. Again, I am loving the stylized stuff. It even made me, like, consider doing, like, like older games. Like, not eh, kind of retro, but, like, the ones that I grew up with, so maybe retro, some of those. I just, I like that style. It was good. As far as, like, the horror bit, you know, it was, like, a little bit spooky with the, the big monster star or whatever that was coming down. And the fact that you could, like, the whole educational value, that's pretty nice, too. Because, like, you're just playing a game for fun, and it's kind of nice that you actually get to, like, learn something while you play. And then again, the horror, the whole reason why I'm doing this, because I love the horror. Otherwise, I mean, I guess if I would have to say anything, that at the end it wouldn't just <laughs> stop and exit to my desktop. But I'm kind of curious if they go back to the game. It was it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. But all right, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.